business day for you and the other graduating players? Um, yeah, it's never a, a day you look forward to, um, but you know it, it comes comes around eventually. So um, you just kind of look back and um, reminisce on all the times you've enjoyed with all the players and you know everyone you've met and coaches throughout the years. Um, you know, going out to eat with the guys and then, you know those long those long bus trips don't seem so bad uh, when it's all said and done. But um, yeah, it's it's a pretty emotional time, but. Um, you know, you gotta kind of focus on more of the, the good stuff than than being uh, sad that it's over. How, do you, how fast does this five years fly by? Oh, uh, everyone always says it, but uh, you know, it, it doesn't seem as fast until it happens to you yourself. So, you know, once you're just starting out as a rookie or or just coming into this league, everyone always talks about how um, how fast your time goes by in the in the Western League and blink of an eye, it's it's already gone. So. Um, yeah, like I said, just enjoying every moment of it and you know, soaking in every second you can. How do you just look back on just your overall junior experience? Um, yeah, it's, it's it's all been you know really enjoyable for me. Um, <clears throat> been been to a few teams. Um, it's kind of nice to see how how different teams and, and places operate. So it's overall been a, a great experience for me and, and my whole career. What were your expectations with this team this year? Um, I came in here. Um, I was obviously ecstatic to be a, a part of an organization, uh, organization like this. Um, just wanted to add some size and, and some um, some grit and some some work for this team. Um, you know, we didn't make playoffs last year, so definitely one of our our goals this year. And um, I like like to help um, get us there, and and luckily we did. So I think we we had a very hard fought battle against the. A good team um, did a you know, did better than a lot of people thought we did. I'd say, but uh, would have been nice to win that series. But I'm still proud of our team for sure. From your perspective, just some more thoughts about that series against the Blades. <clears throat> um, yeah, it was a hard-fought battle. I mean, we showed up every game. That that's a good team, you know. Um, they won a lot of games this year for a reason. Um, you know, being the sixth seed in that series, um, you know, we, a lot of people doubted us. I feel like, and um, you know, we came out strong. Um, unfortunately, lost a couple games here back home, but um, you know, pushed it into Game Seven, and I think we played our, our hearts out. And unfortunately, it, it didn't go um, the way we wanted to. But I mean, I'm very proud of our team and, and how we performed uh, against a, a team like that. How was it like playing those crowds? Whether it was here in the sold-out crowds or those packed bars in Saskatoon? Oh yeah, it's awesome. Um, you know, I've <laughs> been in rinks with. Uh, you know, and maybe not a lot of fans at games, and then going back and forth with the sold out, sold out barns. It's uh, it's insane. Um, it's, it's super cool to to see that and the fans coming together to you know support both teams. Um, like I don't think Saskatoon sold out and probably the World Juniors in 2008 or or when, whenever that was. So um, yeah, it's really special. I think it's really good for the game too. You know, and growing and getting people more involved in in the city and and for their team. It's awesome. You can't win your last game. Is the best, next best way to end your season losing in a game seven? Yeah, I think I think that's the way you you have to go out if you if you're gonna go out. Um, you know, it's it's unfortunate, but at least we can say we did we did everything we could. You know, we, we pushed them to uh, to life or death, um, and the same with us. And unfortunately, it just just didn't go our way. But yeah, we still played well. What does the future hold for yourself? Um. Just kind of wait and see right now. Uh, I want to keep playing hockey. Um, hopefully, turn professional and um, see where see where that road takes me. But I'm in uh, no no real rush or anything to decide what uh, what to do now. So, what does it mean for you to play in a league that your dad and grandpa also participated in? Yeah, it's it's really special. You know, there's always a debate of if you want to go to school or or join the Western League. Um, you know, with my grandpa and my dad both playing in it and, and being a, a big part of the league with my grandpa, um, I thought it would be pretty special for me to, to join the league myself and, um, you know, play play as much as I can and, and enjoy the, the league and, and what it has to value for, for players moving forward. And, you know, just for life experiences as well, um, it's not only um, a spot where you can advance your hockey career, but, you know, the, the people you meet and the life skills you develop and stuff, is it's, uh, it's pretty important. So. Yeah, I got a, um, a lot of praise for the Western Hockey League for sure.